A sculptor that does not know how to make a gong should look at a kite's tail. Welcome to the Design to Win podcast, episode 24. I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor, and this is a program where we share authorpreneur secrets and keys to help you to win in your life and career. And today, we are continuing our authorpreneur secrets because this is the first week of the month. And today, we're going to be talking about three of the cardinal sins that first-time independent authors make as they outsource their work to author services and other publishing um, partners. The first one I want to mention is that they format their manuscript as if it is a completed book. (laughs) What do I mean by that? When they submit their book, they try to make it look like how they want the book to look when it is finished. This is not right. Your book needs to be submitted in what is called manuscript format. And this is the way it should be for editing and for the interior formatting. And at minimum, it should be double spaced times 12. You can use Times New Roman or Courier. You should use proper headers what I mean by that, like your level one headings and um, subheadings and not try to put any stylistic thing in there. And so I would advise you to go learn what manuscript formatting is all about. There are several videos on YouTube and also in my book, Authorpreneur Secrets, I break that down. So do not try to pre-format your book, but put it in what is called manuscript formatting. So go and research that. The second thing they do is that they often finalize the print cover without getting the page layout count because that often determines the width of the spine. The cover is ready when the the interior formatting is not done. The Print cover cannot be final until you know the page book. And these are things that I learned along the way. So do not think that your paperback cover or your print book cover can be finalized if your layout has not yet been done. And so do not make this error. The other one has to do with editing at the layout stage. When you come and say you want your book to be formatted, at this stage, it should be properly edited and you should not be adding any new content at this stage. And what I mean by properly edited is that you would have done whether the structural editing and copy or line editing, and you would have finalized it by proofing. And this leads to the next cardinal sin. Many independent authors do not know, and self-publishers do not know the difference between editing and proofing, and they do not understand the publishing process and that it needs to go through several editing phases. And they often think that editing is also rewriting. So they don't want to rewrite or edit um, their books properly. So you submit it for structural editing or copy editing. And then after that, it needs to be proofed and you need to know the difference between developmental or structural editing versus copy editing. So they may come and say they want editing, not understanding that there are different types of editing. And after editing, there is proofing. There is content proofing, which is the final um, proofing that is done before layout, or we call it the pre-layout, refining of the content. Then there is the layout proofing, followed by the product proofing, which is the final stage where you get, I often say, get a, a physical copy of the book, if you're doing print book especially, and read it through again, because very often there are things that you miss on the computer. And so in their haste, 
because I used to be like that. Independent authors or self-publishers want to rush through the process and often miss some of the steps and commit mistakes that make it harder and make it take longer for the persons you're outsourcing your book to to complete their job. So do not Let's go back over the sins again. Do not try to pre-format your book to make it look like a book. All kind of styles and different things. It should keep it in basic manuscript formatting. And you can Google that. Secondly, understand that your print cover cannot be completed until the layout is done. And you know the page count and the book size which will, and the paper that you're going to print on, because all of that affects the, the spine width. And you need to bear it in mind. Also, bear in mind the different types of editing and the different levels of proofing and be patient and willing to do those. So I hope that this is helpful and you'll not make those mistakes. This is Ruth Taylor, Jamaican authorpreneur, publishing coach for indie authors, and an Amazon best-selling author reminding you not to commit these sins in your excitement and haste to publish your first book. And remember, it's better to have a late book than a bad book. Life doesn't get better by chance. It gets better by design. And you need to bear these things in mind as you design your first book. Ta for now. Until next time.